Hey guys, this is Greg Benz with a quick demonstration of the new pre-blend features in Lumenzio version 4.0. I'm going to revisit an image I did recently, which was supplied by architectural photographer Jeffrey Totaro, showing how to blend these three exposures to expand the dynamic range of the scene and control these blown out highlights. We're going to select all images by hitting Ctrl or Command A, right click on the images here in Lightroom, and choose Edit In open as layers in Photoshop. And now we see we have all three exposures as layers in a single document. This is the first difference with Lumenzio version 4.0. You can work with a layered document, just gives you a little more flexibility. I like this approach because I can save it any time and it goes back to the original folder nice and easily. Let's click pre-blend and notice we have a few new options. One of them is to check alignment. It allows us to visually assess the alignment. Don't need it here since these are properly aligned images already. We also have blend if. This is a new option that allows us to begin the blending process right in pre-blend. So we're going to sort the dark exposures to the top as I always do. Use blend if which will allow us to quickly get to a blended result. And we'll add black masks which allows us to control where the blending will be applied. So just click on blend layers and we'll see the blend if window pops up with the option to choose different lights masks that will be applied to the upper exposures in the image. So if we click lights two, we see that a blend if lights two mask has been applied to these top two layers. It's applied as a blend if, so it doesn't do anything to increase the file size like a luminosity mask would. And we can try out different versions of this blend. So we can already see a preview applied to the whole image here. If we look at lights three, I don't like this result quite as much. Lights four, definitely don't like that as much. Lights two looks like the right answer, so I'm gonna go with lights two. Notice that it is blending some other areas of the image that I wouldn't use. When we click done, these upper layers are gonna be grouped with a black mask. So we can now paint white on this mask and apply the blending just where we want it. If I disable this mask, you can see this would be the globally applied blend if, and I don't like what it's doing to the stairs and a few other areas looking at that result. I just want to apply it in the windows where it's having a benefit. So click B for your paintbrush, make sure you have white paint loaded, and then just simply start painting on that black mask. I recommend using high opacity, low flow, and a soft brush. Makes it very easy to apply the effect just where you want it with nice natural looking edges. But it's really that simple. We clicked pre-blend and then we painted on the mask to create this blended exposure to go from before to after. If we zoom in here, take a look at this result. We went from here to here. The finished image is about 50 megabytes smaller than the demo I previously did using layer masks on the same image. So if you're looking for a very quick and efficient way to blend multiple exposures, check out the new pre-blend options in Lumenzio version 4.0 with blend if masks. And if you'd like to learn more about Lumenzia, please head over to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.